What's up, powerhouses? Okay, so Juan, I'm done with this book. We're finished, okay? Put your dream to the test. Juan was telling me about some uh, personal development that he was about to complete, inspired by Sherry Littlefield. Thank you very much. Um, Sherry had told me about some, or she had posted in the page about some personal development that she was doing and inspired me to do it, which inspired Juan to do it. So hence why you guys see like us communicating in that page and to each other about the amazing things that we're doing has such a ripple effect on the team and on each other and on our personal growth. Just because Sherry told me about one book, I went after it, I read it, I told somebody else. Juan is about to go complete his book, so I challenged him a little bit to tell me when he's going to finish it and what are his takeaways and kind of report back because I think when you're doing personal development, you really do have to have takeaways. Otherwise, you're just kind of reading junk and putting it in your brain. But if you can study it and take the takeaways or have some takeaways, then you've got some, you're learning, you're absorbing. So I have been reading this book for quite some time now. I don't know what was stalling me on it. Usually when you stall with personal development, that's where there's actual growth that's about to happen for you. Um, and Juan had told me that he was about to start uh, reading Eat That Frog. Awesome book. Awesome book. So I gave him a little challenge, and he gave me one back in return to finish this book. Put my money where my mouth is. Finish this book by Tuesday. Wow. It's Saturday, so I have some extra days, and I am making this video for you guys to read this. It asks you to literally put your dream to the test, and there's 10 questions to help you see it and seize it. And when I'm reading it, I'm like, okay, this is kind of like all stuff that I know, but it's good. I'm solidifying it. Okay, I'm, I like it. It's making me a better leader. It's making, you know, solidifying everything in my brain. And then you get to the end. In the end, John Maxwell, who's a phenomenal leader, he is uh, giving you 10 questions or an assessment, almost like a test, to see what your score on how likely you are to achieve your dream. Shalene Johnson tells us that if you are getting an A or a B, you're good. She says Bs are good. So 80% or more, if that's your score, is good. Well, I got an 83. And I'm really excited. I'm actually happy. Like when I finished the book and I finished the assessment, I was like, oh my God, I got an 83. I feel so cool. Yes, my dreams are going to come true. So now the cool part is that at the end of the book, and please guys get this, like this was a phenomenal book. I kid you not. I am in love with this book because at the end, when you assess every question he asks you, you see where your strengths are. Thank you, Juan, also for this, and where your weaknesses are. So now I actually have a map, and I have, he even gives you a plan to assess your weaknesses and your strengths, and then to work on your weaknesses. So let's check this out, and bear with me here. My score was an 83, and let's see if I can find one of my weak, my weak points. But remember, where we have weaknesses also lie our strengths, and this is so true. Um, I actually, my weakest points are the pathway question do I have a clear strategy to get where I want to go and I answered honestly I think I can do better there the people question have I included everybody I think I can let a little bit more people know on my Facebook and my Instagram um, what it is that my dream is and the other question was the clarity question so these are things that actually in my life yes like I struggle with I struggle with putting things into words and defining them of what it is that my dream is. So now I have this roadmap of where I want to improve. And then where you find the parts like your weakness, your weak areas, he gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to improve there. This is insanity. So I'm looking at, it says the clarity question. Do I clearly see my dream? If we can refine this and define our dream and have it clearly in our brains on paper and spread it out there to the world we have a better chance of actually making it come true so having your dream clarified is huge i was just asking china the other day why i asked nicole cassetta the other day why like why do we want to do this and in beachbody they're always asking you what's your why and it's not like oh yeah i sure i know my why no you have to be like you have to dig deep for it you have to have your why so deeply ingrained in you and put it out there to the world that doesn't matter whether people they like it they don't like it your reason is so intense right when you read the compounds effect they always say if I paid you a dollar to walk from this building to that building on a plank with a fire would you do it for a dollar fuck no but 
if a loved one or one of your children or, you know, something really valuable was on the other side, you'd fucking cross that bridge. You would cross that plank into the burning building to go get that thing of value. So we need to find what it is that is driving us to do what it takes to achieve your dreams. And the other thing they talk about in this book is that there is sacrifice. And I don't want to harp on it too much because I think that people get very attached to their things and they don't want to give certain things up. So all I know is, is I'll tell you that as a leader, you will sacrifice. Um, if you want something bad enough, there are going to be things that will be sacrificed. Sometimes it's time doing your favorite things. Sometimes it's TV shows. Sometimes it's sleep. When I was trying to um, leave my full-time job to work Beachbody full-time, I put in my letter of resignation in six months. I finished out the school year in eight months, and I was full-time Beachbody coach. I cut many, many bills, and I sacrificed a lot of sleep. I'm not going to lie. I probably slept anywhere from four to six hours a night because my the passion that I had, I got a 10 on the passion question, the passion that I had gave me energy and kept me awake. So I was sacrificing sleep. Um, I don't sacrifice sleep anymore because I knew once I was full time, I was going to get all the sleep in the world. So just real quick before I end this clarity question, check out what they do. So if that's my weakness is having my dream clearly defined, um, he tells you this is where you are, survey the terrain, so take a good scope of what's going on, asking for directions, giving life to the map, and then journaling. And he asks you questions that will kind of help you clarify observations, conclusions, and plotting your course. So there is a roadmap here for you to become a fucking powerhouse. Powerhouse. Nothing can stop you. Nothing. So please go get this book if you think that you possibly have what it takes or are willing to take two months to finish the book. I view that as a course. That's like free college right there. I hear kids coming, so I'm going to go. Please get the book, John Maxwell. Put your dream to the test. It was amazing. Um, I'm still working on it, so I'm done. But now there's work to be done after that book. And I think that is a sign of many of you in here. And you hear it when you're on the Zoom calls. You hear me say, you're on these Zoom calls. You have what it takes. When you are showing up every day in the team page, you have what it takes. When you do not give up, you have what it takes to have your dreams come true. So... If anybody needs any help with that, put your dream to the test. John Maxwell, um, the next book I'm going to be going through, 15 Laws of Invaluable Growth or something. That's another one Beachbody gave me, again, by John Maxwell. Some people love him. Some people hate him. Find out who you love. Get their books. Study the shit out of them and grow as an individual. And if you don't want to, that's okay. I look at lots of people. People, I'm in New Jersey right now. It's beautiful. I'm taking advantage. But I look at lots of people that are happy to be status quo beautiful that's beautiful status quo is okay for some people for me status quo is not okay just for me so you can hate me for it you can love me for it to each his own but for me um i have very big dreams very big dreams and i want you guys all to come with me so if you do yay and if you don't yay, it's okay i love you guys as though you're your guys is you guys is oh god i gotta go back to florida okay uh, you're a powerhouse. I'm a powerhouse. We're powerhouses. I love you.